There is much in Purple Mash that allows us to collaborate and to share. And I have not touched on the email that's found in Purple Mash. Email provides the possibilities of communication within the class and it gives the ability for a teacher to moderate to keep that aspect in the teacher's hands. But a wonderful tool for collaboration. The teacher can put sanctions and restrictions in place if necessary that will curtail any irresponsible communication taking place. In this video I'd like to show you how to find emails, how to send emails with attachments and pictures and all. It's important to know that these emails are bound within the Purple Mesh environment so it's very safe for the learners. They will not be communicating with any outside people nor can any outsiders communicate with the learners within our environment. This should put parents at ease considering the dangers that lurk within the environment of this sort of communication. So let's just go to the home screen and I'm going to show you how to get to the emails. So we're in the home screen, I'm going to just drag down and you'll see the emails are over here. So I'm going to click on that to open the email section and over in the left hand side we have this icon for the emails I'll just click on that to open it and let that load and we're going to now see and i already have one email everything is pretty standard at this stage you can see i've got an email from a person called caitlin and the subject of the email is indicated and then we've got the date and those should give you some understanding of the basics of the email so if I want to send an email I'm going to click on this little button over here and you can see there I would indicate where it says to the person who I am sending the email to now this is largely bound by your class at this stage so we would search in that section to find the person who will be receiving our email and then we've got the subject over here and I'm going to just quickly write out for Joshua and the subject of my email we're just doing a test of email so a write testing email and dear Joshua I would like you and we know we're going to just be testing email to just show you how it's done so Joshua is going to be receiving this email from me and then he will go out and try to promote how emails are sent with others I will be posting this on YouTube so you guys can then pick up on how these emails are sent. Show the teachers how to do this. I'd like teachers to start using the collaborative tools that are available in Purple Mesh as well. And I'm going to need Josh's assistance in this regard. Just added those two little emoticons at the end. And you can see here I will send the send button. And that's where we can attach little bits of work. And we can even attach pictures in the third one. So I'm going to attach a piece of work. And it'll just be a short little video sample that I used in one of my videos. Just for Josh's interest to see how that opens. So now I'm going to press on the send button. And my email, email would therefore go through to Josh. Little icon indicating that Josh is now receiving my email. And that's basically all that's necessary to send an email. Pretty straightforward. You might want to send an email to a particular person, and that's where this address book comes in. So if I click on the tab saying address book, I can access a whole list of names. I see a whole lot of teachers at the top, and you can see it's arranged in alphabetical order. All the letters of the alphabet showing the first name of the individual. So there we've got Cherie Melrose, and we've got a whole list of names of whoever is going to be able to access the email you will not be able to see all those names that i've seen i've shown you because you have access only to the members of your class now let's just see in the alerts section if any of the emails have come through if i press on the to do's and the alert section at this stage we don't see anything there so they're not indicated to be present in those two sections so if we go to the email section then obviously that's where we're going to interact with the the whole email so let's go back to tools and we're just going to scroll down and we've got our email section the button for emails we just open it up and 
we should have a listing of our received emails. I see Josh has now replied. I see a testing email and Joshua Fora has replied. He writes, what is, what's up? I'm just going to go over the process of how to reply to Josh's email. So we can see the emails and we've got our inbox as it would be in any email system. And then we got Josh's email that we opened with his WhatsApp and I'm going to reply to Josh. So we now need to find the reply button. So it says at the bottom straight away, reply. And I have a little bit of space here to type and I want to promote emailing at school. And then I'll put a little cup there and I'll send. And then I would have replied to Josh and you can see the little pic animation showing that that's been sent. And it's already clear that Liam von Staden has sent me a email and he says, tell me when your home is done. I think he probably knows that I've been building a home and trying to improve my house. So I'm just going to respond in that area. Thanks, Liam. I am still working on my house and I'll respond to him by just adding a last little bit taking a long time and we'll press on send and there we go the animation that little dog indicating that the email has been sent i'll try to put some more videos together to show you a lot more but at this stage let's just get into the point of sending emails and we'll work and see what we can do further a big thank you to everybody who has watched this lesson we urge you to subscribe to our youtube channel I hope that it will encourage more of us to use Purple Mash and to start seeing how it can be integrated in a 21st century approach towards education. A big thank you to all of you for watching right through to the end and especially to the grade 4 class that I have just been with. You've been marvellous.